In this video, we're going to look at how to derive a quadratic formula. To do this, we're going to go back to our rules for completing the square. Well, the first step is we want to get the quadratic equation into the form of x squared plus dx equals g. If you've watched the other videos or seen this in books, you may see that we've used different variables to represent our constants. I did that so we wouldn't confuse the variables in the quadratic equation with the variables we use for the steps of completing the square. The first step is to get the constant in front of the x squared to equal 1. We will do this by dividing all the terms in the equation by a. And that would leave us 1x squared, or just x squared, plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0. We also need to get the c over a on the other side of the equation, and we'll do that by adding negative ca to both sides of the equation. Now I need to figure out what number I need to add to both sides to complete the square. We're going to take one half of the term in front of x, and we're going to square that. And that would leave us with b over 2a quantity squared. And I'll add that to both sides of the equation. On the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out, because I'd like to combine my two fractions. So I get b squared over 4a squared plus negative c over a. Before I can add those two terms, I have to have a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of negative c over a by 4a. Now I have a common denominator of 4a squared. My next will be to factor the left-hand side, which gives me x plus b over 2a quantity squared. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and complete the addition, and I will end up with b squared over 4ac divided by 4a squared. Next, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. On the left-hand side, I'll get x plus b over 2a is equal to the right-hand side, which is plus or minus the square root of both the top and the bottom of the fraction. The square root of 4a squared is 2a, so that will be my denominator. Next up is to solve for x. So I want to subtract b over 2a from both sides of the equation. That would leave me with negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. I, of course, can combine those because I have a common denominator, and I get the quadratic equation in its traditional form. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Not only is it fun to see where the quadratic formula came from, but this way, if you forget it, you can recreate it yourself.